This is Alex. Alex is 24 years old. He lives in Los Angeles and he's having a great life. His favorite things are social media, which he checks constantly throughout the day, hanging out with his friends, which he does every day, and sports. And he doesn't watch sports every day. He just catches whatever's going on in his feed, highlights and things like that. And he hears uh, commentary from his favorite creators that he watches every day, talking about the games, the players, the drama. Most of his life revolves around social media in this way and in other ways. That's because Alex is part of a generation called Gen Z. Gen Z, the first truly digital native generation. Gen Z never knew a world without smartphones and social media. So everything they do has got the social media element to it. Uh, every piece of content is 10 second bursts, super fast, interactive and engaging uh, and instantly gratifying. And uh, this makes it very difficult for people like Alex to watch live sports on TV. In fact, uh, the viewership is way down from other generations because it's just not a format that they're interested in. 33% of Gen Z doesn't watch live sports at all. Think about it. It's a three-hour sporting event that's all passive viewing, no interactivity, and a bunch of commercials. That's definitely just not interesting to them and how they live. Sports needs an entire rebuild to be resonating with Gen Z. How to rebuild sports? Well, you definitely want the action in there from the competitions. That's something that they love for sure. But also the social media element, native to social like on social media and within social media, featuring the people that they're watching on social media, the stars. And it has to be relevant to them and their friends and collaborative so they can have fun and interact with the content with their friends. We present to you League of Play Sport 2.0, built for Gen Z with these in mind. We conduct live sporting tournaments, live streamed on social media, featuring top social media stars and influencers from YouTube, TikTok, and other platforms, and our our tournaments are live interactive where Alex can vote live to affect the gameplay during the games. Let's take a look at one of our tournaments. Here's our ping pong tournament recently. You can see high action, high production value. These are top stars playing and having fun. And Alex can vote on distractions like the pizza paddle or the unicorn costume and even see his friends piping in to watch remotely and be featured. In between the tournaments, Alex goes to LeagueOfPlay.com to learn more about the players, fill out quizzes and polls and surveys to earn points on League of Play, also plays casual games to earn points, and he can even watch videos of new creators that he didn't know about before, all earning him points that he can cash in on our shopping section for discounts on goods or entering into contests and giveaways. Our business model is pretty straightforward. We work with brands and sponsors for our tournaments with live activations, branding during the tournaments, and product placement during the tournaments. As you saw on the platform there, we sell goods and these goods are our own licensed and created goods like merchandise, sporting gear, or even snacks, food and drinks that we create ourselves. The digital products that we offer are paid engagements like chat and video features where Alex can actually interact with his creators uh, behind a paywall, betting and fantasy where Alex picks uh, who he thinks the winners are gonna be for the next tournament and subscription content where Alex can see training videos, footage behind the scenes and get to know his creators better behind a paywall. So what we're doing here is creating a whole new category of interactive entertainment. It's not an improvement of sports as much as it is a new way to think about how a generation takes in content and what they want. So when you go entertainment first and you push into the interactive space, it's this whole other category that's the opposite of what sporting is, which is passive viewing and just big athletes. You've got big entertainers and being able to play along with them. This market is massive because it combines three existing verticals of entertainment, sports, and creator economy into one massive opportunity. Even just the creator economy is at 250 billion value now set to almost double by 2027 because it's growing so fast. Our opportunity is actually unique because we have multiple countries which are all different markets, completely different creator ecosystems, different sports, different cultures, different languages, and all of those combine on our unified platform to give us a multiplier that gives our opportunity at least a $10 billion ceiling, if not higher. Let's talk about our team real quick. My name is Hank. I'm the co-founder and CEO. My last company, Gigster, is in the creator space as well. It's a marketplace for production locations. So Airbnb for film shoots. Uh, thousands of top creators find locations on Gigster every day. And that company did 40 million in GMV in 2023. Before that, I consulted with the company Body Armor, which is a consumer sports drink uh, brand. And I worked directly with the co-founders, Mike Rapoli, who is the founder of Vitamin Water, and NBA star Kobe Bryant to help launch that brand. And five years later, they were acquired by Coca-Cola for $5.6 billion. Co-founder Elon Friedman is a licensing and merchandising maven. 
His father is famous for having discovered the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and building all of the licensing around all of the products that you ever saw. So every show, all the cartoons, all the movies, all the products, all the toys, all the merchandise, that all came from Ilan and his father's family business and licensing to the tune of $3 billion in revenue. And then from there, uh, Ilan created tons of relationships with the top YouTube channels, selling products straight through to retail and e-tail to the tune of nine figures. And last but certainly not least, co-founder Ben Grubbs was the global director of top creator partners at YouTube for five years. When, during his time at YouTube there, he invested $100 million in capital into the creator ecosystem from 2012 to 2017, essentially jumpstarting the creator economy as we know it. And he also created a event series called YouTube Fan Fest featuring top creators on stage with the fans showing up live to enjoy those creators. Sound familiar? <laughs> Anyways, uh, he grew that to 12 markets in Asia. It's now a $50 million piece of business in Asia alone. So here you can see what we're doing, working with the top of the food chain of creators, top of the top actually, from a million to 100 million subscribers, that's the top 0.03%. And when you combine 10 or 20 of those size creators together on a tournament, the reach gets tremendous. On our ping pong tournament that you just saw, there was 186 million subscribers across those 12 creators. That means each of our tournaments is nearly the largest single reach video opportunity on the internet, on YouTube. It's a tremendous opportunity. So not surprisingly, with that kind of reach, the numbers come back pretty big. Uh, our ping pong tournament did 1.1 million unique live viewers, 6.3 million total views, and 550,000 in revenue, all of that with no paid marketing. It was literally just a test to see what would happen when we put one of these on. So that's about as small as the tournaments will get. The engagement was off the charts. 4.6% engagement during our tournament is 23 times the average engagement on a YouTube video. And the landing page for that tournament converted at 36% to an email signup. That's 18 times the average of consumer web. It's a very, very engageable audience. Now we have six tournaments coming in the US for season one. Uh, these are different creator hosts and different sports, which would be really fun to put together. We're expecting a minimum of 48 million views based on the pilot performance. We think we'll do two to three times that many, but that's our baseline. Uh, we have great brand sponsors with us. Carvana is going to be giving away a Tesla to a lucky fan like Alex on our next tournament, and likely we'll do that for all following tournaments. And now we have international leagues coming to us interested in doing creator-based exhibition games and matches across the world. We now even have U.S. stakeholders like the Pro Football Hall of Fame and National Baseball Hall of Fame interested in doing exhibition matches as well. And we have brands that are, want, want to put together sporting series, all of the same sport, to a finish with a uh, championship there. So we're very excited to be changing the world of sports for the next generation. We would invite you to come with us. It's time, let's go.